Happy Easter, Green Mott. I wanted to share just a minute. In Romans 6, it says that we are either a slave to sin or a slave to righteousness. And in Romans 8, it says there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Easter and the resurrection were God's ultimate smackdown on sin, death, and Satan. For 2,000 years since the resurrection, the created who call themselves Christians have had the freedom to live in the full power of the Creator. It says, where, O death, is your sting? And I love this because it's a rhetorical question because Jesus smacked death into oblivion on Easter, and that gives us freedom to be who we are to God's glory. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love Easter. Hey guys, I'm Rissa Martin, and Seth asked me to share about um, how Jesus changed my life or what Easter means to me. And so kind of combining both of those questions, um, I feel like now is a time that I always think about how what he did for us gives our lives purpose um, because if it weren't for him dying on the cross there would be there would be no story to tell there would be no reason that um, I would have needed to travel the world last year or move to Thailand for the past three months um, because there would have been no story for me to tell there would have been no reason um, for me to be there and so I think that's just the biggest part about Easter and how he really changed me was that um, I had this urge in my in my heart to tell people what he did for us because it means everything it, it is why we're here and so I think that's yeah he's really filled my life with adventure and really changed me in that way thanks for listening I think Jesus is changing my life by letting me know, even in the most unpredictable moments, He's right there with me, saying, hey, I got this. Most recently with my family and I so sick and feeling so helpless that I realize God can truly do anything. All I have to do is trust Him. What does Easter, and particularly Jesus Christ, mean to me? One scripture seems to sum it up for me, and that is 1 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. That informs me that God loves me. That informs me that Easter is to make a difference in my life. Jesus did it for you. Hey Greenmont, I was asked to make a video about what Easter means to me and I guess it really boils down to the magnitude of the sacrifice of what God did to be in relationship with us. Um, when I reflect on it, I'm just in awe and it, I suppose the awe just continues to grow. Um, so yeah, that's that's really what Easter means to me. What I like about Easter is we celebrate Passover and we look around the house for leaven with a flashlight. My dad cleans it up and throws it in the trash can. <clears throat> uh, then we have a big party and, and I have lots of fun. I like to dress up in pretty clothes and put flowers in my hair. Angry Mont, I want to share a little bit about how Jesus has changed my life. Looking back, um, when I was younger, I, I see all the things that I turned to in hopes of finding life. Things like friendships and girls and sports and success. And for a significant season, um, drugs and alcohol were a huge place that I went trying to find life. But then I got to hear about the cross and the death and resurrection of Jesus and the life that he has to offer us. Uh, and that changed my heart and my life forever. It changed who I married, probably where I live, the work that I do. Um, I go to church, I have friendships that are centered around Christ. My life looks completely different now because of what Jesus did on the cross and what he invites us into in a relationship with him. So this Easter, I'm reminded of how grateful I am for Jesus, the cross, and the resurrection, and the life that we are offered in Him.